third exhibition, Enveloping. Yes, enveloping. Perfect um, title. Tell me a bit about how you got to that title. I got to the title um, through the 100 Day Project. So this exhibition was an extension of the two projects I did last year and the year before. One was on envelopes and the other were on little pins that were all based on daily observations. And I came across this wonderful quotation which says, what surrounds you is within us. And I thought this is really apt, particularly last year during COVID, when we couldn't go very many places and I had been used to looking at things around me and in my neighbourhood um, every single day for the 100 day project and then all of a sudden when we were at home I really had a closer look at my own garden and what was in it and what was happening day by day and observing the changes and observing the colours, looking at the shapes more closely, looking close up at various aspects of the garden. And I came up with this whole series called Garden Threads. And this is the basis of this exhibition. And a very successful exhibition. I'd love to congratulate you. Would you talk about the three panels behind you? Yes, these three panels um, are part of the Garden Threads series and I really enjoyed um, creating them. They're based on a technique that I learned um, really a long time ago from one of the textile taster uh, programs at the Newcastle Creative Embroiderers and Textile Artists. And I'd forgotten about this um, technique. It was shown to me by the late Eileen Lee and Somehow it had just slipped my mind and earlier this year when I was making uh, the stole for Stole the Show I was looking for some ideas and during COVID I had actually cleaned up my workspace a bit and discovered all these really old magazines and one of them was a stitch magazine and it explained this technique and I thought oh I've forgotten about that I'm going to try that again and basically it's putting down very small pieces of fabric and stitching over the top of them. Now that doesn't sound very original at all, but in this case it was an exercise in using all the various stitches that you have on your sewing machine and working through those stitches in different lengths and different and in different colours. Uh, to create your own sort of own background fabric and so this is what I did here with the difference I dyed some of the fabrics eco dyed some of the fabrics and some of the fabrics um, uh, have marks on them made with ink and so then I've overstitched the background then I laid on top of the background tea bags that have been emptied obviously and dried flat and using my machine I used a free motion uh, stitching technique of really drawing with the machine and then tearing away all the excess paper and so what you get left with are the shapes. Very effective, they're very beautiful. Now these are another series uh, using different techniques Still with the garden theme. Are Still we... with the garden I've included birds in this series as well because while I've been looking at the garden so closely, I couldn't ignore the fact that there were so many birds around, um, in the, particularly in the grevilleas and in the um, eucalypts. And they got so used to me wandering about that um, they, came, they allowed me to get very, very close. And um, even the little magpies that were um, walking along um, the garden were very, very happy uh, to be photographed, to be sketched and um, 
I think they'd be very happy to be um, collaged with fabric as well. So what's the technique you've used with this? Because it's different from the uh, tea bag series. Uh, this technique is basically free motion stitching with uh, some applique. So uh, some of the fabrics have been hand dyed and if I couldn't get the exact colour I wanted, um, I would colour after stitching with um, Prismacolor pencils as well and also give a little bit of uh, variation in the colours. Mm. This is another series in this exhibition and I started making these collages very soon after I did a master class with a very renowned textile artist um, who has visited the gallery a number of times uh, throughout the past few years and her name's Yetta Clover. And so this um, collage series is called Homage to Yetta. One, because I really found an inspiration from um, her techniques and her and getting my eye in with her uh, during workshops and the masterclass and also because we share um, an interest and love of working with postage stamps and this series has each one has a postage stamp as a feature. As part of the Garden Thread series, I thought I wanted to do something a little bit figurative as well and it occurred to me that um, in most of the exhibitions that I have done here at Timeless Textiles or with Timeless Textiles, I've included stick dolls. So here are an extension of the early stick dolls and one of my grandsons would be very happy to hear that I have now given them two legs. <laughs> and these ones have two stick legs and two stick arms and but no faces and this is because I have wanted to portray a figure that does not define beauty in a specific way. Well one of the things that people love are these um, story books that you do. These concertina books are again another version of the uh, Garden Thread series. So instead of long scroll type uh, stories, these little garden stories are in horizontal um, concertina book form. And so they fold up and they feature just a little snippet of what my garden might look like at any particular time. And here are two noisy miners amongst the grevillea. You've been so well received with this exhibition. Clearly, you've got such a big following, Wilma. I'd really love to congratulate you on the success of this show. Thank you, Anne. Um, it's been fun getting it together, and um, I'm very, very relieved um, to feel that it's been um, received um, by so many people. Thank you.